Epic Mini Games is a Roblox game that was created on July 29, 2015. As the game description reads, Welcome to Epic Mini Games, where you can enjoy a selection of 124 unique and exciting mini games, leveling up and earning coins each time you win. Spend coins on gears, pets, effects, and other cool stuff that will make your character more awesome. This is a Roblox Epic Mini Games iceberg. It outlines some of the most notable things regarding the game at the top and the deeper you go, the less the known these topics become. That can be said that it's the same for all the iceberg charts. Now the main reason why I'm making another iceberg tier list is cause well, it's fun. I've also heard that people enjoy seeing me making these narrative like videos, and I do personally enjoy that as well. Iceberg tier lists in my opinion are very interesting, depending on the topic. I would like to make more of these so if you're interested in seeing more of them, make sure to subscribe. This iceberg chart is made by John Kramer 22 so credits to them. The link to it will be provided in the description. This iceberg chart is relatively small, but I don't mind. I've also seen a few people cover this iceberg already, but I'd like to give it a try as well. Anyways, let's get started. Typical type. He's a Roblox user that was behind the creation of Epic Minigames. Although he may not be as active in his development as he was in the early years, he still contributes to his team on occasion. Here's a little fun fact. This is his main older Roblox avatar. There even is a Roblox toy for it. Typical Games This is a Roblox group that's responsible for the development of Epic Minigames. It houses fans, notable contributors, moderators, developers, and more. Not only are they behind the one game title, they're also the creators of Energy Assault, Silent Assassin, and The Crusher. Mario Party Inspiration This refers to Epic Party. Epic Party is a game mode in Epic Minigames, introduced on November 7, 2021, and added to the game on November 20th, 2021. On the main menu, players can select the button labeled Party, to the right of the play button, teleport him to Epic Party Lobby. In the Epic Minigames Lobby, there is a sign that says Epic Party at the top. In the sign, there is also a green button that says Play. The player can click or tap the green button and teleport to Epic Party Lobby. Why did they make Epic Party? I honestly don't know, but it's a cool addition. Metaverse Champions Event Metaverse Champions was a Roblox event that started on April 15th, 2021, and ended on May 20th, 2021. It was the year's spring hunt as a rebrand of the annual egg hunt. The event was spread into 4 weeks, with up to 48 games a week, and 10 to 12 for each champion. Epic Minigames took part in it by having Phase Terror Case Number 1 hidden somewhere in the game to obtain. On May 17th, 2021, this case was opened and was replaced by Phase Diadem, a Roblox event accessory. Old Lobby There used to be an older version of the lobby in the game back in the day. If you want a video showcasing of that, it will be linked in the description. The old lobby does come up during Epic Minigames official game nights, but there's also a ruined version of it hidden within the current lobby. Top of Lighthouse in the lobby, there is a lighthouse and you can do a bit of parkour to get onto the top. By doing so, you'll receive a badge. Here's how I roughly got onto there. And yeah, that's it for the first layer. Now onto the second layer. Secret Room 2021 
Now, I don't know for sure if this is still in the game or not, but basically, it's a room that has some sort of spaceship. One of the theories says, it's the helicopter which probably takes players to Silent Assassin, meaning the games are probably connected or it transports the players of the game here to attend the games. With the camera room secret, I think there's an overseeing person who's watching our games. Interesting theory indeed. This secret room, however, changes and leads you to the old Epic Mini Games' as ruined lobby. Here's a quick clip of getting myself game there. Alright, so to get to the secret room, you need to collect a certain amount of hats, so I'll be showing you where they are exactly. So there's one right here behind a rock. Make sure to click on it. The next one is all the way onto this boat. You can see the little bucket hat. It's the one you need to click on right here. The third one can be over here next to the campfire, which is the skull hat. The fourth one is in the lobby building onto your left, which is right here. And over here, the last one is in one of those tents, which is right here. You just click on that. Now, once you get all the five hats, make your way down here. This door will open. And just go down to this hallway. It will lead you to this uh, sort of familiar place, you know? And the door will close on you. Can't, uh, can't escape, so... Uh, what you end up is in this old lobby right here. Now, if you want to escape, you know, this is the exit, but it requires you to get a key. So to get the key, you want to go up here. Loop around. There's a key right here. Click on that. Go through this hole. Get back down. Click on the keyhole. And voila. Camera room. This is also one of those secret rooms that are housed in Epic Minigames. In order to access it, you'll need to get behind these three crates. Then, use shift lock to wiggle your way into the small crevice of the terrain. It may take some time. Once you're made it your way in, you should gain access to the camera room. I'm not entirely sure the purpose of this, but good job. Very good, yes. Troll Mask. Yet again, another secret room. To access it, you will want to go to the specific part of the lobby, right where this bush is. Try to get yourself into the small hole that sits within it, and eventually you'll make your way in. You don't need to modify your avatar into a tiny one. An average size avatar can still fit through. Again, I'm not sure what's the purpose of this room, just like the previous one, but it's just chilling, you know? There's also a daily mission you can obtain that requires you to basically find this mask room. That... that's it. Oh, and to get out you can just either reset or click on this button. A door will appear. Egg Hunt 2019 Event In the year of 2019, Epic Minigames took part in the Egg Hunt. Egg Hunt 2019, Scramble in the Time, was the 10th annual Roblox Egg Hunt event, as well as the final event before the launch of Live Ops. The Egg Hunt was first announced on Developer Forum and later during the 6th annual Bloxies. It took place in 42 games connected to one central hub, which was created by the group Eggsually. It was sponsored by Avengers Endgame, which had both eggs themed accessories obtainable during the hunt. This accessory in particular was the prize for those that beat in the Egg Hunt challenge in Epic Minigames, called the Eggsian Woolly Mammoth. The Axian Woolly Mammoth is a limited hat that was published in the Avatar Shop by Roblox on April 16, 2019. It could have been obtained as a prize during the Acon 2019 Scramble in Time event. Eventually, it went limited on November 7, 2022. In order to obtain it, you must win the new Easter Ice Saw minigame by gaining the ice cube into your area. I did this back in the- and not gonna lie, it was really annoying with the ice being very slippery, while also randoms ganging up on you trying to snatch the egg. I don't know if it was obtainable within a VIP server, but if so, then I must have been really, really stupid. Acon 2020 event. Oh boy, I really don't want to dive into this one. Acon 2020, Agents of Egg, or simply Acon 2020, 
was a Roblox Acon similar in gameplay to Acon 2019. Players travel to different games to collect eggs. Unlike previous years, the event did not contain a lobby. However, an official explanation as to such was later provided. Instead, Roblox chose a community-made version as an official alternative to this, known as the Acon 2020 Fan Hub. This was discovered as it was the only game selected on the Egg Hunt section of the games page to have not been originally featured alongside the main games. Epic Minigames took part in this event by adding the Juggernaut minigame. By winning it, an egg prize was included, called the Epic Egg. Epic Egg is a limited hat that was published in the Avatar Shop by Roblox on April 5th, 2020. It could have been obtained as a prize during the Acon 2020 Agents of Egg event. It went limited on August 5th, 2022. Here's how the minigame function. Players had to wait for the Easter Island Juggernaut minigame to be selected. One player was selected to be Juggernaut at random. To get the egg as a Juggernaut, you had to kill all the other players. If you were not the Juggernaut, you had to kill the Juggernaut to get the egg. After the Juggernaut died, the egg would spawn around the map, which players would then need to touch to get to the hat. Note that if the Juggernaut left the game, nobody would get this hat. We have reached the third layer of this iceberg chart, folks. So many things down here aren't known to all the public, but only a good handful of people know about it. Here we go. Secret Room 2019 this room is the same area as the Secret Room 2021. The way to access it is the same, just the room interior is different. In this room, it contains a small lobby, a carpet for the main hall, a pool, and an aquarium. I really miss this room to be honest. I just realized that like a good chunk of this iceberg is just Roblox related events and secret rooms. Yikes. Secret Room 2015 Yup, even the old lobby had its secrets. In order to gain access to it, it's the same as the current secret room in the new lobby. Just find a bunch of hats, and find the hidden door. In this room has a small grass table with two figurines of typical type and Worthy Shining Kazoo. Speaking of Worthy Shining Kazoo, we'll talk about him at the end of this iceberg. Random Wall Clip Wow. I'm kinda honestly surprised people managed to find this out. I personally discovered myself this many months ago, but there are a few videos out there mentioning it. At the time of recording, you can no longer gain access to it, but back then, you could just go to this side of the lobby wall area, use shift lock in a specific section, and yeah, you're in. There's like nothing at all to really find here though, so this could be unintentional by the developers. Black Room If you go into this the lobby building into this corner here, hop onto the flower pot, and you'll end up in this weird, empty, isolated room. White Room When Kids Choice Awards 2018 event. Oh my god, I remember this. If you didn't know, Epic Minigames used to take part in a sponsored Nickelodeon event in 2018. Kids' Choice Awards 2018 is the third Kids' Choice Award annual event by Roblox, and is based on the awards show with the same name on Nickelodeon. It features three prizes to obtain and three games to go to obtain them. One of the accessories can be obtainable in Epic Minigames, called the Blimp Headphones. The Blimp Headphones could be obtained by winning first, second, or third place in this exclusive Blimp Race minigame in Epic Minigames. I wish I could play that minigame again for nostalgia. We are now halfway through, my friends. Let's keep diving down. Smurfs, the Lost Village event. Yet again, another event we're talking about. Smurfs, the Lost Village was a sponsored event which began on March 16, 2017. It was loosely based on the motion picture of the same name. The accessory you can obtain from this event in Epic Minigames is the Mask of the Lost Village. During the Smurfs, the Lost Village event in Epic Minigames, players have to build a house 
by collecting 47 blue blocks in a blue block building minigame to get the Mask of the Lost Village. I wasn't able to do this event, sadly. Legends of the Hidden Temple event. Damn, I didn't know this one existed. <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple 2016 is a developer-made event sponsored by the Nickelodeon movie with the same name based on a game show from the 90s with the same name. The event started on November 8th, 2016 and ended on November 22nd, 2016. The games were Speedrun 4, Epic Minigames, High and Seek Extreme, and Blood Escape. In Epic Minigames, the gear item you would obtain is the Silver Monkey. During the Legends of the Hidden Temple event in Epic Minigames, players had co to complete the Hidden Treasure Trek minigame to get the Silver Monkey. I haven't done this one as well, despite my account existing during that time. Fun fact, the Hidden Treasure Trek minigame is the same minigame as Aztec Adventure. Just the name was changed. DuckTales Event DuckTales is a sponsored event which began on September 5th, 2017 and ended on October 4th, 2017. Disney XD sponsored the event along with the reboot of the show DuckTales. There are four clues which players must solve to receive a prize. Epic Minigames obviously took part in it. The gear you can obtain is the Scrooge McDuck's cane. In order to get this item, you must collect 5 treasure chests hidden across all minigames. Epic Party Delay Now I'm not sure what it's specifically referring to. I wasn't able to find sources online that could answer. Based from my understanding, it refers to the time when Epic Party first launched in the early days. It would take several minutes and even over an hour. I can sort of remember myself experiencing this, and we honestly thought this whole Epic Party thing was a flop. Boy was I wrong to judge too early. The devs literally spent over 10 months developing it. Massive servers. <laughs> I almost forgot this was referring to like the regular large servers we know to this day, but no, it's not that. Massive servers are bigger than large servers, and they only existed during the 1 billion visit update. I have a video kind of going over that, which you can find on my channel. I think massive servers hosted at least like a hundred players, but I'm not sure. Space Battle Event. Oh my god, another event? <laughs> Basically. Space Battle is a sponsored event that started on November 30th, 2017. It was sponsored by the movie Star Wars The Last Jedi. This event had 6 prizes plus a grand prize, which was awarded after the event concluded. In Epic Minigames, a gear you could have obtained is called Porg, and an accessory you can obtain is a galaxy necklace which I love. For the poor gear, you must be one of the top 3 players at the end of the laser tag minigame with 5 or more tags. And for the galaxy necklace, you must collect 5 stars in a black hole scramble minigame. We have now submerged ourselves into the deep, cold waters of this tier list. Things are becoming lesser known now. Another event, ah! Widely considered as the worst Christmas event in all of Roblox, even Epic Minigames wasn't able to offer a good experience for this event. I don't blame them. Roblox Holiday 2015 is a developer-made sponsored event in which the event is sponsored off the Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Road Chip movie. In Epic Minigames, you can get the Theodore gear. All you have to do is to simply find him randomly while playing minigames and collect him. Yep, that is all it. Woo. Roblox Summer Camp 2016 The Roblox Summer Camp 2016 is the event that started on June 20th, 2016. It is a developer-made event, and it contains three games. The games are Epic Minigames, Blox Hunt, and finally, the game's Roblox Summer Camp. In Epic Minigames, there is an accessory you can obtain by climbing to the top of the mountain when the game High Peak Climb plays on Epic Minigames. You will be awarded with a BFG backpack. 
There is also a Summer Camp Ranger hat, which could be obtained by reaching first place in that minigame. Okay, this is the last Roblox event that big minigame signed up for. There may be more in the future, but yeah. I'm not sure why Summer Camp Event 1 is so low in the list. Maybe it's because it functioned poorly and the people just wanted to forget about it. Or maybe it gained very little popularity than the other events. Who knows. Exclusive and Removed Badges Epic Minigames has a ton of badges to collect, with a few that are either exclusive or forever unobtainable. Here's a quick view of all of them. Feel free to pause to learn more of each one. Special thanks to the Roblox Wiki for providing the list. Bounce Out This minigame was released in the very early days of Epic Minigames. Players are teleported to the bottom of the cave. Once the minigame starts, the mushroom platforms will become bouncy. For 45 seconds, players must use the mushrooms and bounce on them to reach the top. As simple as it sounds, Roblox didn't really like the idea for some reason. The minigame was previously removed due to issues with Roblox physics at an unknown date. In November 2018, the Steel Eagle revealed that they have fixed Bounce Out. However, considering how it wasn't re-released afterwards, they failed to fix the minigame, which was confirmed a year later. On January 7, 2023, during a game night, the Steel Eagle showcased a new, working version of Bounce Out, which now works with R15. It was hinted that it would be re-released in a new feature. The minigame was then re-added to Big Minigames on January 27, 2023. Despite being previously absent from the game, the minigame was still playable through a command used by the developers. Laser Cutting Neon This used to be a sub-map for the laser cutting minigame. It was short-lived for staying in the game due to the appeal of it causing eye strain, and overall, it was just too plain. Magic Carrot Gear it was a gear that can be only obtained by a Twitter code back in March of 2018. I'm not sure why this random gear in particular is far down to this list, or even why it's here at all, since there's dozens and dozens of code items in the past that exist. I guess it serves as a reminder that there are quite a lot of code items that are no longer obtainable from the old days Epic Minigames. Oh yeah, the code you need to enter for that gear is tasty. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the bottom of the iceberg for the Roblox Epic Minigames tier list. There are very few topics that lurk down here that almost no one knows. Or maybe a lot, I don't know. Let's get started, shall we? Infinite Coin Game Pass Apparently, there used to be a game pass that could be bought by anyone for a pretty hefty price that gave you an infinite amount of coins. I have honestly no idea what they were thinking during this time. I mean to be honest, it wouldn't be game breaking if you literally had an infinite amount of coins since it doesn't affect other players. But yeah, that used to be a thing. The game pass was updated on November 1st, 2017 and ever since then it went off sale. I wonder if the people who bought the game pass still had the infinite coin supply, or not. Epic Mini Experiences Epic Mini Games actually used to be called Epic Mini Experiences. Back when Roblox was enforcing their community to label Roblox games as Experiences back in 2021. They since toned that down, but Epic Mini Games tagged along with a joke. With the attention to make fun of Roblox's update. It was very short lived, which is why it's so far down into this iceberg chart. I feel like this only lasted a couple of days, but I was lucky enough to see this live for myself. Worthy Shining Kazoo Demoted If you don't know who's Worthy Shining Kazoo, he used to be an active developer and somewhat of a co owner of typical games as Roblox games. I believe he's one of the first ever developers to develop Epic Minigames. He's mostly recognized 
for building the old and current lobbies for Epic Minigames, as well as himself contributed to the map, lobby, and trade hub for Silent Assassin. This topic in particular relates to Worthy Shining Kazoo no longer having that active dev role. Now I don't know what's the ultimate reason behind it, but some speculations include him choosing to step down, or he wasn't active enough for development of typical games as a whole. Ever since he stepped down, he was given a notable rank that's given to those who help contribute to typical games as Roblox games, whether it's doing internal testing, creating a fan map, or whatever role the team offers him. As of now, more new developers took part in the Epic Minigames' development. And that is it for the Roblox Epic Minigames' iceberg. It was alright I guess. I wish there were more unknown and somewhat scary topics at the bottom of the list, but oh well. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. It helps encourage me to make future videos like these and more. All of the referred links will be in the description, so check out those. And uh, yeah. Epic Minigames is one of my all-time favorites on Roblox, and I think I should stop playing it 24-7. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, love you all, peace.